And starting this broadcast with top updates coming in from Israel, which is now fighting a multi-front war. Days after, a massive air, ground and sea onslaught from Gaza's Hamas regime caught the Jewish state off guard. Over a thousand Israelis have been killed in the Hamas attacks so far. On the other hand, 900 have been reportedly killed in Gaza, which has come under intense bombing from Israel's retaliatory airstrikes. Israel has also reported finding bodies of some 1,500 Hamas militants who infiltrated the Israeli territory on October 7th. In the latest, the U.S. has conceded to intelligence failure over the surprise attack on Israel. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says that the U.S. intelligence did not see anything that suggested an attack of this type which was going to unfold. And as we speak, Israel is continuously pounding what it claims to be Hamas hideouts in the densely populated Gaza Strip. Over 2,300 such airstrikes have been carried out so far, in which Israel claims killing top Hamas commanders. Hamas has also confirmed the deaths of some of its top commanders in these Israeli attacks. But the militant group has nonetheless threatened to begin executing hostages if Israel continues to strike civilian households without prior warning. Hamas is holding up to at least 150 hostages, and these include Israeli and foreign nationals. Amid the relentless Israeli bombing of Gaza, Hamas carried out fresh rocket attacks on southern Israel. Israeli security forces have residents in Ashkelon to head to safe rooms there after reports of more militants crossing from Gaza following the rocket fire. Civilians in Gaza, on the other hand, are scrambling to flee the narrow strip of land, which has now been blockaded completely by Israel. Egypt, on its part, is moving to contain the mass exodus of Gazans into its soil. Egypt's military had taken up new positions close to the border between Egypt and Gaza and was running patrols to monitor the area. Israeli bombings have already halted crossings at the only exit point from the Palestinian enclave. Israeli security forces ordered a total siege of Gaza late on Monday, cutting all essential supplies like food, water and electricity for thousands living there. Well, the UN has called the siege of Gaza a violation of international law. The European nations have also advised Israel against the same. Now, Israel has called up 300,000 reservists and mass tanks and other heavy armor, both near Gaza and on the northern border with Lebanon and Syria, as it endures attacks from multiple fronts. And after four days of clashes with militants on the northern border with Lebanon, Israel reported munitions fired from Syria in the Golan Heights area, which its forces countered with retaliatory fire. And amid the fresh attacks and counterattacks, the Israeli forces have confirmed the arrival of the first tranche of advanced ammunition from the United States of America. The U.S. aid arrived in Israel as U.S. President Joe Biden called the attacks by Hamas an act of sheer evil. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is also set to visit Israel on Thursday to meet with senior Israeli leaders in a show of support. While at least 14 Americans have been killed so far in Israel with an unspecified number of Americans missing or being held hostage. To making sure that other Americans...